And tonight, I'm going to do another review of some motherfucking alcohol. But it's not a scotch, it's not a whiskey, it's a motherfucking beer. And it is called Linen Kugels, Linen, yeah, Linen Kugels Big Butt Doppelbach. Sounds fucking amazing, doesn't it? Yeah, I like it. Big Butt Doppelbach. Just say it a couple times. Makes you fucking horny as fuck. I mean, Jesus Christ, Big Butt Doppelbach. I want, I want to fuck your uncle's Big Butt Doppelbach if she was a girl. <laughs> Anywho, I like the name Linen Kugel too. Because it reminds me of the fucking Kegel exercises women do to tighten her loose ass vaginas that gets fucking fist fucked by their grandpa. Shit. Anyhow, I lost the fucking box. I could get it. <clears throat> Let's see what we got. I don't even know the alcohol content of this shit. It's inspired by the Bavarian tradition. What the fuck is that? You guys know what the fucking Bavarian tradition is? I don't, because I don't fucking practice it. Do you, Mrs. McStud? Fuck no, you don't, because she doesn't practice it either. But she does love some Bavarian cream. Uh, yeah. That's, uh, with five varieties of malted barley. That sounds great, too. What do we got here? In <sighs> These fucking boxes kill me every time. I like to know what, how much fucking alcohol I'm taking in when I drink something. Apparently it says, fuck you, I don't want you to know. Um, let's see. Who fucking knows? It doesn't matter. The pride of Chippewa Falls, Wisconsin. Wisconsin, the land where everyone fucks their sister. Awesome, I love you, Wisconsin. Let's try this motherfucker and see how it tastes. Mmm. Wow. I don't know what Bavarian tastes like, but it tastes very good. It tastes kind of like a dark beer. I'm going to guess that it is. It has some brown in it. It's tasty for six generations. Oh, it's 5.8% alcohol volume for five fucking generations. That's a lot of generations. How many generations is that, baby? Too fucking many to count. All I know is it tastes delicious. I don't know if I can rate this on the same fucking pelvic thrust level that I do the whiskey because I think my beer fucking rating should have a different pelvic thrust level. Maybe a one to 10 fucking pelvic thrust. You know what? Because if you get 10 pelvic thrusts, you're probably going to get the fuck off. Yeah, that's how I roll. Mmm. What would you say it smells like? Beer. Beer. Horrible answer, baby. We'll take it. Fuck it. It doesn't smell like just beer. If I had a Miller Lite, that smells like beer. You are a crazy woman. And look at her laugh. She's like, I don't know. <laughs> crazy Mrs. McStud. I love her. She's the best. Anywho. Excuse daddy. I'm going to give this probably like a 7.5 on the pelvic thrust scale. So, on that note, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, oh, and a half. Yeah. Line and kugels. Tighten that fucking vagina. You get 7.5 pelvic thrust. I love you. You're delicious. I would buy you again. You're a great beer. Even though it doesn't smell like just beer. It's okay, baby. We can roll with it because she's drinking an angry orchard. That's some good shit that I'll review on a later date. Anyhow, that's all I got for you tonight. Have a wonderful motherfucking evening from Mrs. McStud and I.